Welcome back mga ka-LDR! Andito ang si Teacher Ira upang ipagpatuloy ang ating last lesson under ng Ratio and Proportion Series. Pero bago yan, nais ko nga palang batiin ang ilan sa mga estudyante na Dr. Omer or aka Sir Jet na sina Julian, Kate, and Moe. So ilan sila sa kanyang mga music students. So I hope you're watching and even yung inyong mga classmates. So there we go! Lesson number 3. Partitive Proportion. So, ano nga ba itong partitive proportion na to? Actually, isa to sa mga topic na sobrang confused ako noon. No? Pero nung inaral ko siya, mas naiintindihan ko na siya later on. And medyo naging favorite ko na rin siya. So, partitive Proportion. Pagkuha ng partitive proportion, meron lang tayong dalawang step. First, divide the given total by the sum or difference of the ratios. So, mas maintindihan natin siya later, no? Second, multiply the answer by each of the terms. So, punta tayo sa ating example number one para mas maintindihan natin. So, the ratio of math books to science books is 3 is to 4. So, may tatlong math books sa bawat apat na science book. How many math and science books are there if there were 231 books? So, ilan yung uh, math, ilan yung science books kung may 231 books tayo na given? Okay, so ang ating equation, 3n plus 4n is equals to 231. Okay? 3n plus 4n is equals to 231. So, 3n plus 4n equals 7n. Okay? So, 7n is equals to 231. So, ia-add natin tong ating constant numbers. 3 plus 4, 7. Yung n, n. So, just keep it the same. Hindi natin siya i-add or isusulat as n squared or 2n na Hindi ganon. So, n lang siya. Addition lang tayo. Hindi tayo multiplication. So, just copy yung ating variable. 7n is equals to 231. So, 7n divided by 7 para makancel. So, 231 divided by 7 then. So, n is equals to 33. Ngayon, yung 33, hindi pa to yung final answer. Isa substitute natin to sa ating n dun sa ating equation. So, 3 times 33 plus 4 times 33 is equals to 231. So, 33 times 3, 99. 4 times 33, 132. So, equals ba siya? 99 plus 132 is equals to 231. Okay. So, dapat equal yung dalawang numbers sa kaliwa at sa kanan. So, example number 2 tayo. Tatlo naman yung ating term sa ating ratio, no? So, example number 2 tayo. The sides of a scalene triangle are in the ratio of 3, 4, 5. No? So, hindi pantay-pantay yung kanyang sukat sa bawat side. Ilan ba sides ng triangle? So, syempre tatlo. Find the measurement of each side if the perimeter is 60 centimeters. So, yung mga sides ng triangle na to, pag in mo daw, yung kabuuan ay 60. So, gamitin natin yung format na ginamit natin sa first example. 3n plus 4n plus 5n is equals to 60. No? Yun na sa kanan na side, yun yung totality no given na value. Yun daw dapat yung maging total nung ating missing terms. So, 3n plus 4n plus 5n equals 12n. Again, i-add lang natin yung numbers dito. So, yung n, the same pa din. So, 12n is equals to 60. Again, gusto natin nakakancel yung kasama ni n para siya lang yung matira. So, 12 divided by 12 equals 1. 60 divided by 12 equals 5. Ngayon, hindi pa si 5 ang final answer. Isa substitute pa natin si 5 sa mga n sa ating equation. Okay? So, 3 times 5 plus 4 times 5 plus 5 times 5 equals 60. Dapat yun yung equivalent niya. Dapat 60 yung sa kaliwa, 60 yung kanan. So, 15 plus 20 plus 25 equals 60. So, double check nyo. Dapat 60 rin yung total niya. 
So, proceed na tayo sa ating exercises. So, meron lang tayong tatlong items. So, basahin maigi, alamin yung given terms, then solve for the answer o yung ating N. So, item number one, anong sagot? Alamin natin, ipakita muna natin yung solution. The earnings of a laborer and his assistant is in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So, yung uh, sahod ng isang laborer at yung assistant niya ay pinaghahatian nila at ang ratio nun ay 3 is to 2. Tatlo, tatlong parte kay laborer, dalawang parte kay assistant. If they were paid 3,000 pesos, what is the share of each? So, alam na, yung total natin ay 3,000. So, 3N plus 2N equals 3,000. So, gawin natin, i-add natin 3N kay 2N. 5N is equals to 3,000. So, 3,000 divided by 5 para makancel. And si N lang yung matira, di ba? Divide natin both sides by 5. Equals 600. So, hindi pa yan yung ating final answer. Isa-substitute pa natin yan sa ating equation. So, 3 times 600 equals 18 or 1,800. 2 times 600 equals 1,200. So, ang share ni laborer ay yung 1,8. Ang share ni assistant ay 1,2. Okay? So, yan. Pag kinumplete sentence natin siya, the share of the laborer is 1,800 while the share of his assistant is 1,200 pesos. So, normally kasi pag sa word problems, especially pag sa test, gusto ng teachers natin na matuto tayo mag-construct ng simple sentences. Doon tayo sa ating item number 2. Jose was asked to cut a 150-meter rope into three parts. So, yung 150-meters na rope, lubid, hatiin daw niya sa tatlo. The ropes have a ratio of 4 is to 5 is to 6. Okay? What are the measurements of each rope he must cut? So, hindi pantay-pantay dapat yung uh, pagkakagupit niya sa rope. May mas mahaba, no? Kasi 4 is to 5 is to 6, eh. So, gawin pa rin natin yung typical na format natin. 4 n plus 5 n plus 6 n equals 150. Pag adin natin yung ating tatlong terms dito sa kaliwa ng equal sign. So, 15 n is equals to 150. Again, cancel-cancel natin both sides ng 15 para si n lang ang matira. So, n is equals to 10. 15 divided by 15 equals 1. Then, bring down si 0. Kaya 10. Hindi pa siya final answer. Substitute ulit. 4 times 10 equals 40. 5 times 10 equals 50. 6 times 10 equals 60. So, pag pinag-add natin to, ang totality niya ay 150 meters. Ibig sabihin, tama yung ating ginawang solution. So, 40 plus 50, 90 plus 60, 150. So, last item. Find two numbers in the ratio of 5 is to 2. And their difference is 18. Okay, so difference naman ang hinihingi. Ibig sabihin, hindi natin siya pag a -aden. Anong operation ang gagamitin natin? Of course, subtraction. So, 5n minus 2n equals 18. So, 5n minus 2n, 3n. Okay? Gagawin natin, i-divide natin both sides by 3 para si n lang ang matira. So, 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So, hindi pa rin siya ang ating final answer. Substitute natin si 6 sa n. 5 times 6 minus 2 times 6 equals 18. Tama ba? 30 minus 12 equals 18. So, tama. Kasi parehas silang 18. So, ganun lang kasimple ang ratio and proportion, di ba? Chichio. The two numbers are 30 and 12. Pag tinanansate natin sa complete sentences. Let's read this one bago tayo magtapos. Huwag kang manatiling taga sana all na lang. Galaw-galaw. So, marami kasi ako narinig na bata, ang mga studyante, kahit kahit hindi studyante, na sana all, sana all ganito, sana all magaling, sana all matalino. So, pwede naman tayo hindi maging taga-ganun na lang. Contento ka na ba na hanggang dyan ka lang? So, kung gusto natin maging ganun, kailangan nating kumilos. Kung gusto natin mag-excel, we need to go. Okay? Huwag puro tayo sana all sa jowa. Tsaka na yan. Aral muna tayo, ha? So, after this, we'll proceed 
sa ating next series and I'll see you